It was a beautiful sunny day at a house where there was a mother bear, a father bear, and a little bear. They were all a happy family. Father bear was a fisherman and mother bear was a stay-at-home mom. Although she does chores around the house, especially with little bear as her helper. Little bear was going to play with his friends, so he was going to bring some cookies to them. It was Emily's last day of summer to spend with Granny before she goes back to school, so Little Bear was about to head out. Mother Bear, I'm going to see my friends, Little Bear called from the front door. Mother Bear was sewing a blanket when she heard her bear cub calling. Okay, Little Bear, be back before dark, his mother said. Little Bear nodded and walked out the front door. He saw a cat who walked from the gate. Hate. He was surprised to see Little Bear. Hello, Little Bear, Cat said as he sat down on the on the top front of the gate to Little Bear's house. What's in the basket? He asked. These are Mother Bear's homemade cookies. We're going to see Emily, Little Bear replied. It's her last day of summer with her granny, and she's going back to school the next day. It's sad to see that she'll be gone till the winter holidays, Cat said as he walked with Little Bear, and we'll see her next summer. It's going to be quiet in the forest without Emily. But I know she'll come back next summer, Little Bear replied, as he and Cat saw a duck in, in her pond having a swim. She noticed her friends and waved. Hi, Little Bear, she said. Where are you and Cat going? Duck asked. We're going to Emily's house. She's going back to school tomorrow, Little Bear began. Today's her last day to spend the day of summer with her granny. Me, but she'll be back for the winter holidays ne and next summer. That's a long way ahead. I do hope Emily returns, Duck said as she tagged along with Little Bear. They invited Owl, Mitzi, and Hen to come with them when Little Bear bear to Emily's granny's log house. I know, know she will, Duck, but look at we'll be look, we're here now. Little Bear pointed at the log house out. Emily along with Tutu and Granny stepped outside. Emily waved when she saw Little Bear and her other friends. Hello, Little Bear! Emily called as Little Bear and his friends ran down the hill towards Emily. Hello, Emily, Little Bear replied as he gave the ba Emily a basket of Mother Bear's homemade cookies. What's in the basket? Emily asked. Mother Bear's homemade cookies as a goodbye gift, Little Bear replied. We're all going to miss you, Emily, Hens added. Emily gave the basket of cookies to her granny as she took it and looked at her friends. I'll be back for the winter holidays. Emily said, and I'll also be back for next summer. School is where you go to get smart and to learn stuff. It's fun. That's interesting. I wish I was going to school. Duck sighed. We could play school, Little Bear suggested. Emily liked the idea. That sounds like a good idea. What do you think, Lucy? Emily said as her porcelain doll asked her porcelain doll. Lucy says that's a great idea. We'll play school. Emily and her friends all played school with Emily being the teacher. She was teaching the cla her class on how to counting and ABCs. As the day went on, the sun was setting as Little Bear's friends were heading home. Emily sat beside Little Bear at the docks, not far from her house. She was going to miss her friends. I'm going to miss you, Emily, Little Bear said. I'm going to miss you too, Little Bear. Lucy will too, Emily replied. I promise to be here for the winter holidays and next summer. Even if those days are a long way uh, ways ahead away, I'll always still be your friend no matter what. I'll n I know. You'll never forget about me, Emily, will you? Little Bear said as he skipped the stone in the river. I'd never forget about you, Little Bear. Even if we're all grown up, I'll always be your best friend, Emily replied. Forever and ever? Little Bear asked. Forever and ever, Little Bear. I'm so glad we met each other, and I'll never forget your friends as well. We both had great memories together, Emily said as she hugged Little Bear. As Little Bear was heading home from Emily's lo granny's log house, he opened the gate and saw that Father Bear was home from fishing. Shing, Father Bear! Little Bear Bears called as he ran up to Father Bear and jumped into his arms. Father Bear hugged his bear cub when he jumped up. Little Bear, so glad you made it home, Father Bear said as he carried his bear cub inside the house. house Mother Bear was making fish soup for supper. What are we having for dinner, Mother Bear? Little Bear asked. Fish soup, my little bear, Mother Bear replied. She, along with Father Bear and her bear cub, all sat down at the dinner table. As the moon rose in the sky, Little Bear was in bed. His mother and father had kissed him goodnight. 
night, and he stared at the moon from his window. See you in the winter holidays, Emily, and next summer, Little Bear said as he fell asleep. As the days of fall went on, Little Bear played with his friends on most days while Emily was in school. And when he wasn't playing with his friends, he was either helping Mother Bear at home, or he was fishing with Father Bear. At least Little Bear had ways to keep himself busy. As the winter holidays were approaching, Little Bear had a feeling that Emily was home for the winter holidays. He got a present for Emily, Lucy, Tutu, and Granny for Christmas. He was getting his sled to go to the log house. He saw Father Bear sitting on the chair, reading a newspaper. Hello, Little Bear. Where are you going today? Father Bear asked. I'm going to see Emily. She's home for the winter holidays, Little Bear explained. Here's a Christmas card card for them. Tell them to Merry Christmas for me and Mother Bear, Father Bear replied. Little Bear walked to Mother Bear, who was in the kitchen. What are you making, Mother Bear? Little Bear asked. He watched Mother Bear making gingerbread cookies. I'm making gingerbread cookies. I made some earlier for Emily. Mother Bear handed Little Bear a bag of gingerbread cookies. Little Bear put the bag of, of cookies with the presents and the card in the sled. Thanks, Mother Bear. Emily's going to love this stuff, Little Bear said as Mother Bear kissed his head. Hey, Little Bear said playfully. Have fun at Emily's, Mother Bear replied. I will, Mother Bear, Little Bear said as he took his presents and his sled out the door. And he was off to Emily's granny's house. He walked through the snow-covered ground as the snow covered most of the woodlands. He even saw Emily's log house in the distance within a few minutes of walking. When he got to the front door of Emily's log house, he knocked on the door, expecting Emily or a granny to answer, but there was no answer. So Little Bear knocked again, but there was still no answer. Just then, Little Bear saw a cat, owl, duck, and hen. Hello, Little Bear, Duck said. Hello, everyone, Little Bear replied to his friends. No one's answering the door. Little Bear then knocked again, but there was still no answer. Hmm, that's odd, Owl wondered. Are they even home? They should be. Emily said that she'll be back for the winter break, Little Bear said. Dan looked through one of the windows, but he couldn't see anyone inside. No one's home. Maybe they're upstairs. I'll check it out, Owl suggested as he flew up to Emily's bedroom window. He looked inside Emily's bedroom window. There was no one inside, and it looked like it had been vacant for a few days to, for, to about a month. There's no one up inside, Little Bear. It's empty, Owl added as he flew down. Maybe you may have gone out, Hen asked. Maybe we'll all leave their gifts somewhere, Little Bear said. Then Duck opened the door. Luckily, it wasn't locked. Duck! Cat scowled. What? Duck asked as she shrugged. Do, don't you know it's impolite to barge in someone else's house? Cat replied with another scowl. It's unlocked, but if there's no one here, the door would have been locked, Little Bear said. Then he and his friends walked inside the log house. The place wasn't decorated for Christmas, which was odd as Christmas was around the corner. There's no Christmas decorations, Hen said, surprised that there was no Christmas decorations in the house. Hmm, that's strange. Maybe Granny and Emily went to celebrate Christmas with her family, Cat suggested. Hmm, that could be possible, Duck replied. Let's see if we find any clues. Let's search the house, Owl said. Everyone looked all over the house for clues on where Emily is. Little Bear found a notebook in Emily's room. It was on the dresser with a few pencils and pens. I found something, Little Bear called everyone as they heard Little Bear's voice, and they ran upstairs to Emily's bedroom. What did you find, Little Bear? Cat asked. A notebook, and it looks like Emily's. Little Bear said, replied, This might tell us something that we can't seem to find anything else, Owl said as Little Bear opened the notebook. It looks like Emily has been writing on it. Maybe this should tell us something. Little Bear opened the book and the, and the few pages had some drawings of Emily and her friends. At first they had no luck, but when Little Bear got to the last page, it was a long note. I think this long note might tell us something. It's the only way that it is the clue to this book. What does it say? Duck asked as Little Bear began to read the note. He did recognize Emily's handwriting and read it out loud to his friends. Dear Diary, I have, have something to say. My granny is very sick right now, so my parents and I will be taking her to the hospital. Hopefully she'll be back in time for the winter holidays, and if not, I'll be staying with my parents when I'm all grown up. To Little Bear and his friends, if they don't see me by the winter holidays or next summer... Just let them know that I am going to live with my parents till I'm all grown up. But I'll never forget any of you. If you're wondering where me and my parents are, we're in the city. 
if Granny doesn't come home from the hospital. Hopefully we can meet up again someday if that happens. Love, Emily. Granny's in the hospital? So that's why she's not at home, Little Bear said. Oh, dear, 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 dear me! Hen sighed while shaking her head. I hope Granny will come home for Christmas, Duck said. If Emily is not back, back for winter break or next summer, we'll have to go into the city, Little Bear began. When we are older, as it can be dangerous from what Mother Bear and Father Bear told me. Let's just hope Emily and Granny are back here, here by then, Cat replied. I hope so too. I hope Granny's going to be okay, Hen added. In case of Granny and Emily, Emily returned here, let's leave our presents for them here, Little Bear suggested. That way they'll get their presents when they return home. Little Bear's friends liked the idea, and they left their presents on the table for Emily and Granny for when they come home. What if they don't come home till next summer? Owl asked as they were beginning to leave the log house. We'll check them back here in the summer then, Little Bear replied. And if they're not back by the summer, when we grow up, we'll go to the city to find them. May we come with you to the city, if that's the case? Duck asked. Of course you can. We'll all go if it comes down to it, Little Bear replied. When Little Bear got home with his sled into his house, Mother Bear was making hot chocolate for her, Father Bear, and Little Bear. When Little Bear walked inside the house, he hugged his parents. Welcome home, Little Bear. We made hot chocolate, Mother Bear said, as she and Little Bear sat down on the table. Father Bear brought the hot chocolate to them. Thanks, Mother Bear. I was going to ask if you could make some, Little Bear replied as he see, ate a few gingerbread cookies that Mother Bear had made. Did Emily and Granny like their gifts? Father Bear asked. They weren't home, but I left their presents there. I hope they get them, Little Bear replied. I'm sure they will. Maybe they're out doing Christmas stuff, Mother Bear said. Yeah, it's possible, but I'm sure you'll see Emily by next summer, Father Bear added. As winter turns into spring and then summer comes to the woodlands, Little Bear was out to see if Emily was home. He and his friends had been waiting a long time, so as Little Bear got to the log house, he walked inside the door and knocked, but there was still no answer. So he knocked again, but there was still no answer. That's odd. No one seems to be home, Little Bear said as he looked through the window and saw dust decorated the furniture. The log house was vacant. Is anyone there? Owl said asked. Owl, there's sadly no one home is still. Little Bear replied. Owl flew up to Emily's bedroom window, but sadly saw no one in sight. There no, there's no one home, Little Bear. Where do you think Emily could be? Owl asked. Gather everyone here and we'll all look around for Emily, Little Bear suggested as Owl gathered all of Little Bear's friends at Emily's log house. Once they were all there, Little Bear had an announcement. We're going to look around here for Emily, and if we can't find her, We'll have to wait till we're grown up to find Emily in the city. Are you sure about going to the city? Cat asked. I heard the city could be a dangerous place, Hen added. Let's try to look for Emily here first, and now we will meet back here before nightfall, Little Bear replied. Everyone all began to look for Emily all over the woodlands, but sadly they had no luck. Everyone turned returned to the log house just as the sun was setting. No luck, Little Bear. I flew everywhere, but I can't find her, Owl said. That note to Emily she did say about leaving in the city, Cat began to explain. If Granny wasn't home from the hospital, she would be living in the city with her parents. So Emily must be there. We'll have to go to the city and find Emily when we're older, Little Bear said. Why can't we just go there now? Mincy asked. Mother and Father Bear had told me the city is huge and dangerous place. One, because the city is huge and we can get lost easily. And second, it can be dangerous because there are some traps and other stuff going on there. Little Bear warned his friends. What do we do now? Duck asked. We'll just do what we normally do every day and hope Emily returns someday, Little Bear said. When he got home to his house, he told Mother Bear and Father Bear that Emily was living in the city with her parents. He did ask if they could go see Emily, but Mother and Father Bear said no. They only said the city is easy to get lost in and that there are dangers in the city as well. That night when Little Bear was looking up at the moon from his bedroom window, he could see Emily on the moon. He does hope that Emily returns someday, or he and his friends will go and find her. Emily, I hope you return soon, and I hope you're okay. We'll find you in the city someday. I hope you'll remember me, and Little Bear, Bear said as he closed his eyes and fell asleep that night. <laughs>